Hello everyone, good morning. Um, so I thought I would come on here and do some makeup because I've got a long day at work today. Um, I'm in London, I was hoping the sun would be shining so I'd get some nice light on my face, but of course it's raining, isn't it? Because it's London. Um, anyway, I've got some nice light coming in at my window here. I have just got a Lisa Eldridge haul. Now I've been a massive fan of Lisa for years and years. By the way, sorry if you can hear police sirens and ambulance and everything else. I'm a, I live on one of the main roads into central London and there's also a big hospital down the road, so you can probably hear quite a bit of noise in the background. Apologies for that. But anyway, I've been a big fan of Lisa for years and years. Love her makeup, love her YouTube channel, love her work on her celebrity clients and all of that. Absolutely stunning. It's kind of glamorous, but natural and brings out every every person's natural beauty at the same time. I've already got some of her lipsticks here. I have Velvet Fawn and Velvet Blush. I've got a few others at home in Munich as well. Also got this Velveteen one. This is a lovely liquid lipstick. It's probably the best liquid lipstick texture that I have ever, ever seen. I think it's called the Velveteen lipsticks. But yeah, anyway, and I, I also love to use Lisa's lipsticks as blusher, by the way, which we'll come on to in a minute. Um, so, first thing I am absolutely dying to try is this um, enhancing tint. Now, I am not a fan of foundation at all. Hate it, can't stand it. Um, the only time I ever wear it is if I'm going to a wedding, you know, if I, if I, if I know I'm gonna be photographed a lot. So I wore it at my cousin's wedding about six weeks ago. That was the last time I wore foundation. And I like Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation if I am going to wear it, but more more often than not i tend to mix concealer with moisturizer and make a tint so i was really i'm really curious to see what this tint is like and apparently two drops is enough so let's let's go for it. it's put two drops on the back of my hand there it's i i mean i got the color t4 which i think is going to be good for me kind of a oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's perfect absolutely perfect I might need to go a bit darker in the summer, but oh wow, this is lovely. I mean, I know this has skincare ingredients in it, and by the way, <laughs> you can you can make a tint having skincare ingredients by mixing your concealer or foundation with your moisturizer. So I mean, I don't want to be flippant or anything about this because this is a beautiful product. I'm putting it on, it's silky and lovely, and oh wow, it just goes on really easily with the fingers and it does not give, I would say it doesn't give much coverage, not much, but it's enough. It's enough to sort of even me out. I love that sort of glass skin effect. I'm not keen on a matte, I know at my age I probably, probably should be veering towards the demi matte side of things, but um, no, I really like that. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Okay, so Lisa says that you can sort of use it. I have dark eye circles. You can see I've got my color beauty pie color corrector here in case I need it. But what I might do is put a little bit extra on those dark circles. Just put another drop out on my hand. And I also got two eyeshadow palettes. We'll come on to these in a minute, but... Um, now whoa i mean looking close up in the mirror that is absolutely lovely and you know what the coverage under my eyes not too bad not too bad at all by the way um for my skin prep i used uh beauty pie youth balm um serum and moisturizing cream after cleansing this morning which is my absolute favorite moisture combo at the moment. I find as I'm getting older, I'm, I'm nearly 50 by the way, uh, my skin is just getting drier and drier and it just drinks up moisturizer. Oh my goodness. So it has given a certain, it's given me enough coverage. If I, if I were having a bad skin day, it wouldn't be enough, but my skin's pretty, pretty good at the moment. So um, I think, I think that'll do, you know, it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. As I say, I might go a little bit darker with the tint in summer, but because it's so sheer, 
you know, it's, it's not really going to matter too much. I'm just taking the excess off the back of my hand. I'm going to go over with a brush just to blend things out. This is one of Lisa's big tips, you know. Keep a clean brush on hand. Always blend your makeup out. That is stunning. You know what? I am, I am going to put a bit of colour corrector on. This is the Beauty Pie one in light medium. Um, just to... Because I didn't really... I got to sleep quite late last night. I've got some new neighbours upstairs and they were stomping around until about 11.30 in, in the evening. So I didn't get to sleep. That's better. Brighten me up a bit. As I said, I've got a couple of meetings at work today. Um, two with my boss. <laughs> and then after work, I'm meeting a friend in town for dinner. So... Um, We'll see. I'll, I'll report back how, how all of this makeup lasts later. But, um, yeah, really liking that. Okay, so I also got Elevated Glow Highlighter in Crystal Nebula. Now, I've noticed what Lisa does with her clients. She puts some of this on the back of her hand. It's quite... It's thicker than I thought, you know? Um, it's like... It looks, it's actually got a bit of a skin tint to, here, to it. I would say it's not quite, I'm going to put on a bit on as highlighter as well. It's it's much smoother. It's not as not as full on as the Charlotte Tilbury um, Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I don't think, it doesn't have any coverage as such. But it just, oh, it's beautiful. Just like a beautiful reflective. I'm going to put some here as well. It is gorgeous. And yeah, Lisa, so she gets this and she mixes it with lipstick. I'm going to use Velvet Blush here, which is quite a dark lipstick. You know, I wouldn't usually use wear this during the day. It's full on. You can wear it as a tint, but um, then I'm going to scribble a bit on the back of my hand like that. And I'm going to I'm going to mix it with the rest of the Crystal Nebula highlighter. Oh, this is good. Oh, 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 I like this. Stunning. Right, I'm going to get a brush, actually. Apply it with a brush. And what Lisa does, this is her blush hack, is as well as sort of putting on the cheekbones, go right up the temple and then across the nose like this. This is... I love this. I've actually been doing this for quite a while. I went to um, a conference dinner, at a conference my husband was at at the weekend, and I wore this blush look, and I absolutely loved it. You have to be a bit careful, otherwise it's going to look like, you know, you've been skiing for the weekend and not taking your goggles off all, ta all the time. But, um, yeah, this is this is absolutely beautiful. So given me a nice sort of pick me up as I said I um I didn't have a great sleep last night so need all the help I can get and then what I'm gonna do is take the brush I used to blend out my face and just go around the edges here I'm also gonna yeah doesn't so it doesn't look too um ski goggly as I said, I might I might put some more on later because I prefer a you know a stronger blush look. But um, for now, that's good. Eyebrows. I'm just going to use my Benefit Gimme Brow because Lisa does not have any brow products at the moment. However, I'm sure it's only a matter of time, so I'll just quickly brush that through. I'm shade one. I used to use the darker shades, but since I've been dyeing my hair blonde again I use shade one because I don't want to look too um too intense let's brush those eyebrow hairs up right that'll do and now I've been looking forward to this part I've got two eyeshadow palettes from Lisa and I've been really excited by this because I haven't bought any makeup in months and months and I've been on a no-buy, but I've wanted this for ages. This is, I love purple eyeshadow, right? Because I've sort of got bluish green eyes and this really brings out the green in my eyes. 
and there's lovely mauve colours in this one. This is Vel this is called Myth. I think they have the, the same names as some of her lipsticks. And I also got um Vega, which is this lovely cool um cool grey and taupey shades is absolutely stunning as well i think because um it's a work day and i'm not not going super glam i think i'll save this one for another time i think we'll use vega and i also got i love i have one of these eyeliners already it's called what's it actually it's seamless glide um eyeliner pencil i've got the burnt umber one which is my favorite eyeliner ever but i've got the cinder smoke as well this is a bit intense for what i want today so um i mean i could because it does smudge out these really you can either use them like a classical eyeliner pencil and, and make it really bold or you can you know kind of scribble and smudge and use it as a base so i might do that Let, let's maybe we'll do that um because i've also got that kitten flick liquid eyeliner that's got this lovely tiny tiny teeny nib um and I, I mean actually after years of practice i'm not bad at doing liquid eyeliner um i'm better at doing on others than on myself but you know it, i'm not bad at it but i do love the ones with the small nibs my favorite so far is the makeup by mario um eyeliner so i'm gonna see if lisa's one can beat that and i also got Kitten Lash Mascara for the lips. I got two of these new lip pencils because I love, I, I, I actually love just wearing lip balm with a, a neutral lip pencil, the color of my lip. I wasn't sure what would be the color of my, what would be closest to the color of my lip. I got one N and one C. My lips are quite dark, um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll come on to that later. Okay, so what I think I will do is use you know just try out a couple of the more neutral shades from here and i'm going to use cinder smoke first of all um now this is gonna what i think i'll do is just trace out a line from you see from the the bottom lash and follow my lash line around just bring it up a little bit and the same on the other side then because I, I want to try out all these products. Then I'm just going to put like a messy line along the top lash line. I'm not going to do bother too much. And I mean, these you can you've got some play time with these, and then um, once they set down, they really set down. So working fairly quickly. <laughs> um, I'm going to grab this eyeshadow brush. This is a fluffy one, Mac Two One Seven, and I'm going to blend that right so this is going to do two things though i love the texture of these eyeliners so much i'm going to blend this right out of my eyelid it's going to do two things first of all it's going to give me a nice sort of tacky base for the for the eyeshadow to so as i say i need it to last until about nine o'clock this evening so uh yeah it's going to give me a base and the second thing it's going to do, because I've extended my lower lash line up like this, it's going to give me a guide where to put the eye eyeshadow and then where to put the flick for the liquid eyeliner later. So it's useful. You can use any sort of soft eyeliner pencil to do this, but this is a quite a good tip because if you blend your eyeliner pencil into your eyelid like this, it does help your eyeshadow have a, a base to stick to and these these colors are just stunning they really are i mean i think i'm gonna go with turbulence no 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 wait a minute i'll go with french gray this one up here i mean i i did have a quick swatch of these yesterday and the text oh my word that is just going on so nicely it's pigmented enough but it's not too pigmented you know it's not kind of natasha denona level of pigmentation it's just nice you know if just because i just want to flick that's all i i want to i want a sort of flicky eyeliner style i don't want a smoky eye for work today i just want to kind of extend my stop my sockets upwards a little bit because yeah as i'm getting older i am getting a, a hooded eye and 
wow, this eyeshadow is beautiful. It's stunning. Look, just going backwards and forwards. And you can see my socket is actually about here, but I want to sort of disguise the hood. So I'll extend it almost, well, not quite up to my eyebrow, but you know, I'm almost all the way up. That is just, wow. I am going to take a little bit of this uh, turbulence as well, the darker colour. Oh yeah, that is, oh, gorgeous. I'm just going to, where where I drew that line with the cinder smoke eyeliner before, I'm just going to put a bit of eyeshadow on the corner here and, um, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, stunning, stunning colours. And it's got a, it's actually got a dark black in here. What you can do with that, if, if for a nice sort of nighttime effect, if you do use a black liquid eyeliner, you can also take um, an angled brush or an eyeliner brush and sort of pat the powder over your liquid eyeliner. It helps it last longer and um, it gives you a more sort of intense eyeline as well. Whoa, that is beautiful. You know what? I can't resist. I've got to swatch a couple of these metallic shades ah oh, look at that that was that one called um moonlight moon swirl and this one is called supernova oh that's that's lovely i think i'm going to use the moon swirl with the supernova over just in the center of my lid here because i don't want it to be too shimmery it's not too shimmery it's just lovely it's i'm just using my finger with the metallic by the way which is what i usually do i mean you can use a flat densely packed eyeshadow brush to pick it up if you want to but um wow that's stunning and then I'm going to put a bit of this supernova over the top oh yeah that's made me come alive a bit more hasn't it uh very nice very very nice indeed okay I'm going to take a bit more of that supernova and go in it in a corner okay you never know that I had some noisy Italian neighbours stamping around above my flat last night. Wow, it's lovely. Now, let's try the kitten flick liner, shall we? You see, that nib is just, it's so precise. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start on the inside, draw a line as thin as I can. And because this nib is so thin, and the, the ink flow is just, it's perfect. It's not too fast, not too slow. And it means I can sort of even, I can just go so carefully around close, really close to the lash line. Okay, talking and doing liner is not, not my strength. Wow, that is, that is lovely. Just look at the difference that's made between this eye and that eye, just having sort of um, a line close to your lash line, it really, it really makes you look more wide awake, I think. I mean, you can go over the top if you have a thick line. I mean, I love that style. I love the style of thick eyeliner as well, but um, it's, can, make you look a bit sleepy sometimes wow okay so i've lined my eyes i'm going to go as close into the inner corner as i can with this and you can the nib is so nice and tiny now i'm going to do just a little flick on the on the outer corners what i'm going to do i'm going to look at my lower lash line and follow it around like i did when i was applying the pencil go one line there and then join it up with a triangle to meet meet the line on the top lid wow so that that nib is so tiny i really can just do this teeny tiny flick and you know as lisa calls it a kitten flick and oh yeah that's another reason i love lisa is that um she's also a massive fan of cats as I am, I have a gorgeous black cat called Coco. Um, she's back home in Munich with my husband and daughter right now. But the little madam, 
went missing for a couple of days and we were all worried sick, you know? You know how cats just do that sometimes? They don't give a damn, you know? They just sort of, hey, I'm just going, the weather's nice, I'm just going out wherever for a couple of days and you won't see me or you'll see me when you see me kind of thing and then we're worried sick and they're having the time of their lives probably but I love cats anyway and Lisa has some gorgeous cats you should if you check out her YouTube videos she sometimes brings them on right I'm really curious about this so for years I've been using tubing mascara my favorites are Hourglass Unlocked and Beauty Pie Rap Star but this, this is not a tubing mascara, apparently, but it's got my favourite kind of wand. You know, this bendy plastic wand with little teeth, teeth, I guess. Um, it's, so, yeah, let's try. I'm going to go as close in as I can to the lash line and wiggle. Oh, yeah. So I'll be interested to see how this lasts, because usually any mascara that isn't a tubing mascara, it will smudge on me, especially if I use it on the bottom lashes and don't powder, it'll have, I'll have black smudges. So I want to see what this is. Whoa, it's just nice. It's just depositing the perfect amount, you know? I guess you can build it up. We'll see anyway if we can build it up. Um, and um, yeah, I love it. I mean, I know, I'm sorry, I know this is a very long video, um, but I'm not very good at editing. <laughs> and I thought it'd be nice to just take you all with me while I put my makeup on for a work day. And uh, sorry about the state of my hair, by the way. I am getting my roots done tomorrow. So, yeah. So, Lisa says you sort of tuck the wand in at the base of the lashes and then wiggle so yeah I mean I use I've sort of used the wand with the can you see it's like got a, a curve to it so I've used the the concave side first I'm gonna on the second coat I'll see what what the convex side does how it makes a difference let's have a look use this side Oh, I see, right? This is the one for sort of lifting the ends, I guess. It's really nice. I mean, it's probably not as full on, immediately full on dramatic as the Hourglass Unlocked. I know a lot of people don't like tubing mascaras because they think that it doesn't, they don't really uh, give enough volume, but I, I find the opposite actually. Wow, nice. Just give you a side on view of my lashes. You can see, I maybe, I mean, I don't usually use a, a lash curler. I use lash serum. I think my lash serum is called Glow For It. It's a really nice one. It works very well for me. Um, it's one of those with peptides in, you know? Uh, so it doesn't make your lashes fall out and go crinkly like certain other ones wow yeah i i think this is nice it, it's buildable definitely it's definitely buildable i would say you can you can get the look that you want you know you can have probably i probably could do another one or two coats on top of that but for work maybe when i go out later i'll do that but for for work that's kind of enough for me it really it defines the lashes in a really nice way, fans them out and, and they don't look, they don't clump, you know? I think you probably could get that sort of more dramatic clumpy look. You know, I'm gonna take the excess from the wand on the bottom lashes as well. And we'll see, we'll see how that lasts later. But yeah, I am, um, very happy i really like that eye look nice work appropriate but also you know dinner dinner with friends appropriate for later now i am going to try i think because i've used a cool eyeshadow and cool blush shade i'm going to go with the 1c lip pencil it's cool my lips 
mm, they're probably more neutral or even maybe on the warm side but oh no oh my goodness this is an absolute perfect match to my lip shade i can fill in all the gaps you know you have gaps in your lips that are lacking pigmentation um oh uh, oh my this is wow and it's not dry either it's not like a drying lip pencil it's a really really creamy and and blendable uh, you see that it's just basically it's just filling in my natural color it's perfect i mean i often find that uh supposedly neutral or cool uh, lip liners they run to sort of pinky orange but this is just i mean it's it's my lip color <laughs> it's perfect and it's not i don't think it is too cool i think it's it's maybe a little bit lighter i will say it's a bit lighter than my natural lip color so i'm gonna try 2c as well uh i have the feeling that it's going to be somewhere in between the two but that's just that's stunning i'm just gonna what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get a bit more of the velvet beauty not velvet beauty i have got velvet beauty at home this is velvet blush get a bit more of that on the back of my hand because i do want some more color in my cheeks Put it on the, the high points of my cheekbones. I'm not even bothering with uh, bronzer or contour today because this blush, this blush hack by Lisa, I think it does enough. It does enough contouring for me. You see, it shapes, shapes my cheekbones and yeah. So I'm going to take the rest and I'm just going to dab it there because in the center yeah that is just that lip pencil 1c with a little bit of velvet blush tapped in that's my lip color that's perfect now okay my final verdict 10 out of 10 lisa you smashed it yet again i can't wait to use this purple eyeshadow palette myth it's just gorgeous i'm going to use that as soon as possible and looking at the mauve shades in here i think you could also use them quite subtly in the socket as i've done here with the vega palette but i love it so 10 out of 10 hope you like the look have a great day everyone hope it's not raining where you are and hope the sun comes out for you later take care bye bye